What's up everyone, it's Matt Mrozik, AKA MVM397, with a quick video um, shout out and thank you to Jesse Garcia over at garagekits.usa, or .us, sorry, garagekits.us colors. Um, so last year at Wonderfest, um, I bought a couple of kits. I bought the Scarecrow, which is one of them, and I bought Dottie. And um, I did a, an unboxing video of the Scarecrow, and I'll put a link to that video down here so you know what I'm talking about. It's a really cool kit. I have it down here by the side, but I'm not going to go into the kit because that's not what this video is about. This video is about uh, Jesse Garcia and his awesome customer service and his company in general. So I bought the kit last year, and when I got home, I did an unboxing video of everything I got. And I did a review of the Scarecrow, and for the most part, I was really happy with it. But I did have some comments about some of the parts and some concerns of the quality. So I've got the old parts here and today he sent me new parts. So this has been over a year that I bought this kit and he just sent me new parts at no additional cost, which is really freaking amazing and just great customer service. So let me show you the, the differences between the two. Um, so this is the original one that I had. Get some better light on it. And uh, you can see there I got a pretty significant and I, I like I, I like I always say, I usually don't gripe about mold lines, but this one's pretty bad. And there's a pretty good step in the piece at the top here. That's just not a mold line. That's a, that's a like that's like the mold slipped during the casting process. Um, it's just not very clean. Um, I'm being a little harder on it now than I was last time because the, compared to what I have, this is like it's night and day. So this is the big tank. Here's the medium sized tank again. You can see here that there's a pretty significant step there. And it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but there's a lot of details that it goes through, like these bands. Um, this is this detail right here on the top is not retained very well, so, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, is it fixable? Of course it's fixable. There's a big bubble right there. Um, and like I said, I usually don't bash garage kit manufacturers because it's, it's not a mass produced item. Um, I actually have some silicone <laughs> from the mold in this piece, which I mentioned in my first video. Sorry, I keep wanting to focus on the back uh, right in there. And these two pieces fit together like this. And then there's a smaller tank, which is this one right here. And out of all the pieces, this is out of, out of all the pieces on the old set, this is the best piece. Um, so those go together. This goes in here like so. I mean, it fits together perfectly. And then there's a handle on top, and the handle is actually pretty bad. Um, there's a lot of excessive flashing. That's not necessary. Again, there's a lot of, there's a step in the, there's a step in it, not just a seam line, but you can see right there, and there's a pretty good step. So to show you the difference, this is the old on, in, on the right. This is the new. And I wasn't expecting to get all these pieces. I thought I was just getting the main tanks. He sent me all four pieces of the, of the tank assemblies. So you can see, It'll focus on the parts. There we go. Look at the difference. It's night and day. It's two completely different casters. Um, from what Jesse told me, he's not using the guy that did the casting for the old one. He's not using him anymore. So if you go to order uh, the Scarecrow off his website, and he's actually recommending that you do because the molds are getting worn out, and um, he probably won't remold it. So. If you want to get a scarecrow, go pick it up while he still has it. It's a really cool kit. Um, but look at the difference. Um, just really smooth. Uh, I don't even see a seam line on this thing on the on the left here, the, the new piece. So quality wise, it's night and day. Um, it's you can't, it's not even comparable. Uh, the tanks. Let's look at them side by side. Again, you can see the old one. That kind of nasty step in there. There's no step. There's similar on, on Film Music Girls kits. I see a seam on this, but it's probably negligible. Like it, it's not even registering. Um, there's one difference on this piece. There's a, a knob on it. On the other one, there is not. So I'm not sure if um, if I have if the, uh, the other piece that I have in here is going to fit on this. If not, I can make it fit. No big deal. But uh, quality wise, it's night and day. It just you know this. Now that I look at the tanks, these have a texture on them, and these don't, which tell me that there's not supposed to be really a texture on them. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be kind of like a hammered metal, but maybe not. It's, there's a little bit of texture, but it's more, way more prominent in this one. So those are the, the, the smaller tanks. Look at the medium tanks. 
again looking at the old one on the right which is the one i got last year and the one i got today significant quality difference as far as the molding goes um it's really really not that you actually don't even see this part on the kit but it really stands out right here because on this side you have a nasty step going right through all that detail and it's not on this piece on the left um let's look at it here again side by side i mean look at that on the right look at that nasty step that, I mean, that'd just be that would be a bear to clean up. Of course, I can clean it up, but um, and again, if you don't like the sand, don't build garage kits <laughs> or build resin. But um, that's not just that's that's a quality issue right there. So night and day uh, right there. And then let's look at the big tanks as a last reference. I think you get the point. But um, so again. Okay, I see what they did. They remold that those handles the way they go in. So this is the top. On the right there, we got a nice big. That's I mean that's a step. My fingernail can gets caught on it. That's not that's not a seam line. That's a big old step. Um, steps are hard because you have to either sand them down or build it up. You usually have to build it up and then sand it down. And if it's around detail, you're basically have to, have to, I'd have to like shave off all this detail and rebuild it to fix that step. And this band right here, I'd probably have to eliminate some of that and re-sculpt it or rebuild it to fix that but significant difference in quality um, and it's really not only about the quality but it's really just about the customer service that Jesse provided because he didn't have to replace these parts at all especially after it being a year over a year that I purchased this kit so um, I, I did the review a year ago um, how did he see the video? I think he saw my oh he saw my unboxing video of Wonderfest this year where I had uh, Lady Clankington and the Shock Monster and he saw those, and I think someone had told him that I did a, I had done a review of the other kits and he wanted to see them and he saw them, and once he saw me sent me a note it's like hey uh, give me your address I'm going to send you the replacement tanks so um, really really great customer service um, his paints are what I have on my Stella kit for the face. It's only the face because it's the only parts that paint in, in acrylic. And, I, and I'm not um, really well versed in acrylic paints, to be honest, because I usually shoot lacquers on my on my mechs. But um, from a little, little experience I have had with these paints, they spray really well. I do I have been hand painting these actually uh, quite a bit on some of the details on the mechs. They hand paint really nice. So give them a shot. You know, buy buy one of their color sets. You can see my on my paint paint rack in the back here. It's actually all for the most part. It's all. Garage kits. Um, I always get the name mixed up. Garage kit .us. I want to say I always I always I always want to say like Garage Kits Colors or something, but there it is. I'll send a link to the to his website too because he just uploaded a new kit uh, just released yesterday. Um, I think it's Matilda. I think that's the name of it. It's part of his um, Denzo of Zo. I forget. It's it's a, play on, it's a play on a Wizard of Oz. You can't say Wizard of Oz because it's copyrighted, but it's kind of his kind of a badass take on Wizard of Oz um, series. So he's got the Scarecrow, he's got Dottie, which I got last year. He's got the Rottweiler, which I have, which is called Roddy. Um, Matilda just came out, and he's getting ready to produce the Lion, which looks really cool. So I'll be adding him to the collection too. But anyway, um, again, a huge thanks to uh, Jesse Garcia for sending out these replacement parts after a year of purchasing his kit. Uh, I highly re recommend giving him a shot. Um, the Dottie kit that I got from him, I'm not sure it's the same caster, but the casting quality was better. It was different. And um, the Roddy that I got from him was better than the Scarecrow. So out of the three kits I got, the Scarecrow was the only one that I had, you know, concerns about. And it was really basically these parts. Uh, some of the smaller parts, uh, like on any garage kits, need some work. But um, these were the, my main concern. And he was... Uh, really nice to replace those for me I, I i offered to pay for shipping he didn't charge me shipping or anything so these were completely free to me so thanks jesse um i look forward to ordering the rest of your uh, oz kits and the rest of your halloween series because those are, look really cool too so thanks for watching short video as always matt morosic mvm 397 signing off thanks